How's it going everyone? Welcome to another guide for Hogwarts Legacy. If you find this guide helpful, I'd really appreciate if you could leave a like and subscribe. In this guide, I'll be showing you where to find all the demiguide statues so that you can level up your Alohomora spell to level 2 and 3. You'll get the quest, The Caretaker's Lunar Lament at level 14, where you'll unlock the Alohomora spell. After speaking to Gladwin Moon, he'll teach you the Alohomora spell so you can start searching for the demiguide statues. He'll send you on a quest to find the first two statues. Use the disillusionment charm to sneak past all the professors and prefects until you get to the prefect's bathroom. Once inside, head to the left so you can sneak past the three prefects, and the statue will be at the end of the room. Exit the prefect's bathroom and head upstairs to the right. Sneak past a few more prefects and professors, and you'll see the statue at the end of the hospital wing. Head back to Gladwin Moon to finish the quest, and that'll count as one out of the nine you need to level up your Alohomora spell. Next, I'll show you how to get seven more statues in Hogwarts and one in Hogsmeade, as we'll need to unlock level two locks to get the rest of the statues in Hogwarts. Go to the Great Hall Flu Flame. Now go to the right far side of the room and unlock the door. The next statue will be right in the middle of the room. Now go to the secret rooms, then the map chamber. Once you're there, turn around and head up these spiral staircases, and then through the gate. Head down these stairs and then past these pots. There will be a door on your right with a lock, just before the dragon statue. Once inside, the next demiguy statue will be on your right. Next. Go to the Library Annex, then the Library Flu Flame. Go into the Restricted section, then keep going further in until you pass the chest with the eyeball. Next, head to the Astronomy Tower, into Professor Fig's classroom. Go into the classroom, then up the stairs into his office. The statue is located at the back of the room. Head back to the library annex, into the divination classroom. Go to the back of the room, and on the desk is the Demi-Eye statue. Now head to the bell tower wing, then to the Hogwarts north exit. Turn around and go left towards the staircase. Now unlock the door to the room below the stairs. The Demi-Eye statue is just right inside. Next, head to the south wing, into the faculty tower. Here, you'll run past Mr. Moon, then head down these stairs. Follow the hallway, and then go down this set of stairs. Then, go to the second door on the left. Go into the middle stall, with the sign on it. The Demiguy statue will be inside the secret room. Next, head to South Hogsmeade. The remaining statues in Hogwarts are behind level 2 locks. We need one more demiguise to level up our Alohomora spell. Head down the street until you get to Tomes and Scrolls. Walk behind the shopkeeper and go into the room on the left. The statue will be on top of the drawer. Now that we have nine moons, let's head back to Gladwin Moon. Hello, Mr. Moon. Congratulations, you now have Alohomora level 2. Now let's find the next 13 to upgrade it to level 3. Now that we can open level 2 locks, let's find the rest of the statues in Hogwarts. Go to the bell tower wing, then the beast's classroom. Turn around, then go to the second building on the right with the level 2 lock. The statue is straight ahead on the table. Next, go into the astronomy wing, then the transfiguration courtyard. Now, go through the double doors on your right. Once inside, you'll see a door on your right with a level 2 lock. The Demiguy statue can be located on your left. For the final statue in Hogwarts, head to the Library Annex, then the Potions Classroom. Go through these double doors, then down the spiral staircase. 
Then unlock the level 1 lock. Down the hall, there will be a door on your left with a level 2 lock. Inside the small room is the final demiguise in Hogwarts. Now let's look for the statues in Hogsmeade. Starting in South Hogsmeade, we'll head towards Tomes and Scrolls. Take the first right down this small street. There will be a house on your left with a level 2 lock. Once inside, go upstairs and the demiguy statue will be on your left. Starting from the same house, we'll go outside and turn left to go towards Hog's Head. The statue is located inside the small room behind the bar. Next, go to West Hogsmeade. There will be a door with a level 2 lock next to the potion shop. Go upstairs and the statue will be on the drawer. Now, go back to South Hogsmeade and go into the Three Broomsticks. Go inside and head up to the top floor. There will be a door with a level 1 lock. The statue is at the center of the room. The next one is located in a building right next to the Three Broomsticks. Head outside, then turn left, then you'll see a house with a level 1 lock. Go inside, then head up the stairs. The statue will be on your left. The next one is located next to Gladrag's Wizardware. Go inside, Dervish and Bangs. The statue is located right in front on the counter. For the next one, head to North Hogsmeade and towards the Brood and Peck. Go to the house across the Brood and Peck with a level 1 lock. The Demiguy statue will be above the fireplace on the right. The final statue in Hogsmeade is located in a house just behind Honeydukes. Once inside, the statue will be on the table to the right. Next, I'll be showing you two more statue locations, and then we'll turn in the quest to upgrade our Alohomora spell. We'll be going just south of Hogwarts to Lower Hogsfield. Head into the first house on the right, and the demiguy statue will be just behind the door. Next, we'll go east of Hogwarts to Aronshire. Once you're there, head to the first building on the left with a level 1 lock. Go upstairs and the demiguy statue will be on the floor next to the bed. Now that we've found 13 statues, let's go back to Gladwin Moon to level up our Alohomora spell. Hello Mr. Moon. You're ready for the final Alohomora level. You now have the level 3 Alohomora spell. You can continue watching this guide to find the rest of the demiguy statues. We'll start at the top of the map by going to Pit Upon Ford. Head southwest until you see this three-story house. Go to the top floor and the demiguy statue will be on your left. Next, go just north of Hogsmeade into Upper Hogsfield. Go into the house that's right by this well and has a wheel right by the door. The statue is just inside on a stool. Now, go southeast of Hogwarts to Brockborough. Go to the center of town where the shops are. Hello. Might you have time to help with an urgent go to the rightmost house with a lantern next to the door. The demiguy statue is on the floor to the left. Now, head towards the center of the map and go into Keen Bridge. Head across town, then go through this gate, and you'll see a house with a level 1 lock surrounded by pumpkins. The statue is right inside on a table. Now we'll head to the bottom left side of the map to Feldcroft. 
Go across the central area where the well is and you'll see a house with a level 2 lock. The statue is right inside on the left. Next, head east of Feldcroft into Irondale. Once you're there, follow the path and head to the first house on the right. Go inside and you'll find the statue hidden behind the bar on the right. Now we'll go towards the bottom of the map to Morinwin. Once you're there, follow this path and head to the house on the left. The statue is hidden behind the bar on the left. Next we'll go just south of Morinwin to Bainborough. Go to the first house on the left with a level 1 lock. The statue is on a table to the left, next to a chair. The final demiguy statue is located near the bottom of the map, in Cragcroft. Once you're there, head to the center where the giant tree is. Then go into the house to the right of the vendor. Head upstairs and the final statue will be on a table next to the bed. And congratulations, you found all the Demiguy statues. If this guide helped you, I'd really appreciate if you could leave a like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.